Everyone is responsible for his own actions. I mean, that may sound a kind of banal thing to say, right? It's the basis of modern civilization. It's the basis of every monotheistic religion. It's the root of the Enlightenment. And yet, in advanced Western liberal societies, we have abandoned that principle, at least when we come to the charged field of racial politics. Let's just go back for a moment and stress why it's so important. Consider the row when Liam Neeson gave that explosive interview, saying that following the rape of a friend by a black man, he had hung around outside pubs hoping that a black man could come out so that he could have a go at him and kill him, right? And was shocking on lots of levels, shocking for the violence. But the reason that there was such an outcry, that if, if we put our finger on the thing that makes it so abominable, it's this. Had Liam Neeson ended up beating somebody up, he would have knowingly got the wrong guy, right? Whoever it was, it wouldn't have been the person responsible for the thing that he was angry about. And that is the fundamental objection to racism. It's a peculiar kind of collectivism that takes the individual and blames the collective for his deeds, and conversely, that blames the individual, or indeed praises him, for the assumed characteristics of the collective. And that is something that fundamentally strikes at the whole root of the liberal order, because it breaks the idea that there is a link between action and consequence, and that each of us, in the end, is accountable for our own behavior. How many people who rightly condemned Liam Neeson's action then see only color when it comes to judging university admissions, or composition of a company board, or the composition of a legislature? Surely the liberal ideal is one where skin color matters no more than hair color, and where we are all judged as individuals on the basis of our kindness, our decency, our generosity, our intelligence, our courage, rather than on the basis of our physiognomy. Liam Neeson grew up, acquired wisdom, and came to see that his earlier behavior had been disgusting. What a sad thing that so many of us in the field of public policy are going in the opposite direction.